Now there was a guy right around the corner outside that door the last oh he's still he is there too okay so let's block that off oh shit oh this is why we call this the oh shit gun you too <laughs> all right now i think it's time for a bandage Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days of Dying Alpha 19 Experimental. We are now on build 157, and by the way, I am an old guy gaming, and we do play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we generally play on the hardest settings of the game. So, uh, I made it back to my base overnight with no uh, no incidents, which is good. I uh, spent some time overnight setting up some storage, so uh, this is food and medical, this is parts, this is weapons and tools... This is going to be clothing and armor. This is raw resources, and this is uh, trader stuff. Uh, so I'm actually going to pull that out of there because the trader's going to open up here in about one in-game hour. As you can see, I have a forge going here, and the forge is... I uh, just made uh, some forged iron. Let's go ahead and, and smelt down that little bit of sand so we can make some more jars. And yeah, we're just feeding stuff into here uh, for the time being. I do want to make another forge, but I don't have um, all of the stuff that I need to make that quite yet. So let's see. Uh, was there anything else in here that I wanted to sell to the trader? Yeah, I wanted to sell that extra duster because we already have uh, a duster here. And we do not need two of them. And uh, I think everything in here we want to hang on to. I did want to actually make some more blunderbuss ammo. And by the way, if you look at my toolbar, I have three blunderbusses now. Uh, so I made the other two. That way we can, you know, essentially it gives us three shots before we have to reload. Because, you know, as you guys know, these things take forever to reload. Uh, so we'll keep those on our toolbar uh, for emergency situations. Now, for the blunderbuss ammo itself, what do we need for that? Ah, just stone. Okay, so, well, stone, paper, and gunpowder. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's make more. We'll put the uh, paper back up here because that is an ammo item. And then all of this, these two things we're going to sell, plus we're going to turn in our quest. And I've got some empty jars in my inventory, which we're going to use to fill up at this little watering hole right here. And also, I'm going to uh, get some more clay whilst we're out and about, too. In terms of points... I dinged last night, and I took the first point in a uh, minor 69er. Not only does that let us uh, break blocks more quickly, but we can now craft a level 2 tools, orange tools, in addition to all the iron tools, which we will be doing when we have all of the materials to do so. Okay, so uh, let's go grab that water first, and then we're going to go to the Trader Turner question and see uh, where we're at with Trader Jin. All right, so it looks like we are, we're going to have to climb up there to get our water. I thought this was one of the water towers that had, like, the little puddle on the ground, but apparently it's not. I don't think there's going to be Zika Ruskies up here. I hope not. Let's go look around and see if there's anything on this other side that we can loot. Not seen it. Okay, so, um, I have to be mindful of her. What we'll do is, I don't want to break it open on this side, because then the water will flow down the ladder and kind of mess with us. So let's see what happens if we break. Oh my goodness, that's a thousand hit points. Lord almighty, can we, we probably can't get in there from the top. Ah, crap. I can't put this, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, ow. Not good. Get up here quick. Well, maybe, she, maybe she'll break the block for us. Ah, oh, man. Okay, is that a sprain or a break? Let's take a look. It's a sprain. Okay, well, at least it's a sprain. Uh, your max health is lowered by 29.8. Uh, your leg is sprained and slowing down. This will take some time to heal. Jumping or spraining will delay or uh, will delay healing or even hurt you further. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Crap. Well, I didn't think... Um, I didn't think she was going to hear us up there doing that, but we got to be careful not to jump either, by the way. Okay, 
here. We're going to leave this here. I, I can't upgrade it because I don't have any cobble on me. I must have dropped it all off when I was doing my inventory management. So let's just carefully and cautiously go back to the base. Um, boy, I don't think I have a splint. I'm trying to think if I have the means to make one. I'm not sure if I do or not. Crap, man. All right, well, it, we don't, we're not desperate for water right now, so we'll probably be okay for now. All right, so if I just jump up here, oh yeah, <laughs> it made the bone, it made the bone pulsate. But we gotta, we gotta get back up here and see if we can make a splint to fix this. Otherwise, it's gonna. Otherwise, we're going to regret it. I mean, it's already taken a third of our health down, which we cannot afford. Whew. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing's ever freaking easy. So to make a splint, well, first of all, do we have a splint? We don't. Oh, joy. All right, so that means we're going to need to make glue. And in order to make glue, we've got bones, but we don't have murky water, which was what we were going after. The only other thing I could do is just wait and not do anything until we heal, but then I don't really want to do that because daylight's a wasting, you know? Maybe she'll have a splint that we can buy. I did grab the money, right? Yeah. Okay. Just trying to see if that would hurt. It hurts us. This might jumping off of here. Oh, yep, it did. <laughs> Shit. That's brutal, man. That is freaking brutal. Okay. Let's just carefully walk our way over here. She's supposed to give some kind of a greeting. It looks like she's playing it's playing the anima animation, but it's not playing the uh the sound bite. Um incidentally, I am as I mean this is already pretty obvious, but I'm still on the same save. We were on 152 last, now we're on 157. But, you know, it's just experimental anyway, so unless something is so badly broken uh, that we'd have to start over, we're going to just keep going on this on this save until we can't any longer. All right, let's talk to Trader Jen. Good job. I knew you could do it. 20 pipe bomb. Wow, that's actually a pretty generous, that's a pretty generous uh, reward there. My goodness. You know, one of the things, too, that they said in uh, build 157's patch notes is that they reduced the amount of ammo, as in normal ammo, you know, like 9 mil ammo and stuff like that, in loot in the early game. Um, I would kind of classify, I guess that is your earliest explosive, but yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, we get 3,000 XP and 800 more coins. Okay, let's take a look at jobs. So everything you have is a fetch and... This is the closest one, so I guess we'll take it. Problem. Can you help me out? Okay. Fantastic. I hope to see you soon. All right. So we took that job. Uh, where is that? It's to the south. It said. Oh man! All the way back at that house. Yep. That's the first. That's the first house we did. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. All right. That's the one with the damn vulture too. But you know what? We've got three blunderbusses now, so that vulture can eat some buckshot. All right, let's talk to her again and see what she has in her inventory. Um, I'm going to sell her this, and we're going to sell this, and we're going to sell this. I think I'll make use of those pipe bombs, so I'm going to keep those for now. Oh, if I didn't already tell you this, I've, I made, I've made some iron arrows too, as you can see. So, you know, the bad thing here, she does have duct tape, okay. The bad thing here is that um, she doesn't have that orange pistol anymore that we were kind of hoping to get, because now we can afford it. But what does she have? Let's look, because this is a new inventory here. Marksman rifle schematic, rifle parts. She does have an AK, but that's still a bit out of our reach at the moment. Uh, we could potentially earn enough money to buy that before she resets on day seven, though. So that's, that's something to think about. Uh, what does she have in... Just the normal stash. Let's just kind of go through this quickly. She has some duct tape lock picks and glue. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Let's continue looking and see what else she has. She's got a hunting rifle. That's a pretty crappy one, though. So, yeah, I don't think I'm interested in that. We got a yellow baseball bat. First aid kit. Steel spear, gunpowder. 
an orange AK. Ooh, we can afford that, you guys. And we do have some 7.62 ammo that we've looted. Hmm. That's tempting. There's the new steel club, but that's too expensive for us. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to do this. All right, we got ourselves an AK. All right, yeah, let's buy nine. And, well, no, let's buy ten just so we have an extra one in case we need it. But, I mean, I'm going to be able to make it pretty easily. But, yeah, let's buy ten. Okay. It is done. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And tell your friends. Uh, I will tell my friends, yes. Friends, all of you who are watching me, you're all my friends, I'm assuming. I hope you are. Jen wants me to tell you that uh, she's got some good stuff for you to come and buy. All right. Anyway, let's see. What do we have in here? We're going to buy lamb rations. We're going to buy chicken something somethings. Oh, I got to remember to start checking out this uh, candy. I mean, it would it would definitely be worth it in almost every case to buy these sugar butts if they're around for 100 coin to get that 10% you know, bartering. That's damage protection, and this is sneak damage. It's sneak damage, but it's not better sneak itself. Still not bad, though. I can definitely see us making use of that candy, you know, a little later on in the game. We don't have a ton of money right now to be buying up a bunch of that, but we will. We definitely will. All right, it's cool. So we got ourselves an AK, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Um, so let's wait until this wears off. Then we're going to go back to the base. In the meantime, let's make all, turn all of this glue into duct tape. And then I'm going to work on, you know, making some iron tools. And we, we still have to get water and we still have to get uh, some more clay too. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut the camera here and I'm going to work on those things. And then what I will probably do is I'll probably meet you back here at this house and then we'll, we'll at least get started on that quest. We probably won't be able to get the whole thing done in this episode, but we'll at least get started on. Okay, so I will, if all goes well, <laughs> nothing else crazy happens. Uh, I know that's a big if, isn't it? I will meet you at this place and we will uh, get started on that quest. And maybe, you know, we'll luck out and we'll be able to get the whole thing done. We'll see. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. It is actually the next morning on day five. I pretty much spent the rest of uh, yesterday and, and all night uh, just, you know, working on stuff. Uh, we cut a bunch of wood. We dug up some more clay. I went hunting, which took a while, and I finally found a doe. And uh, now I'm in my mine. There's a little iron mine right next to our, our base here. And so I spent the, the, la the last part of the evening down here just getting some more iron so we've mined up 1196 iron i have my iron shovel made and my iron pick made and now with this we'll be able to also make our iron fire axe and maybe even a hammer too so let's go ahead and get on out of here i went ahead and uh, i put some wood bars up there a zombie never came but so i don't know how effective this is going to be but uh, in Alpha 18, what they would do is they would just kind of stand above and not really do anything, and then you could shoot them. I, what I'm expecting will happen here is they'll actually start to attack it, but it still, you know, buys us uh, enough time to kill them while they're attacking it with ranged damage. Okay, so uh, we're doing good. We, we didn't run into any issues last night. We just, you know, stayed cool and quiet. Um, <clears throat> we did uh, get pretty close to a spider, which was frightening as all get out, but uh, we managed to elude him. And so that's pretty much where we are. So we're going to do a couple things in the base here, and then we're going to set off and go do that quest. We're going to eat. Uh, let, let's wait just a little bit longer before we eat bacon and eggs. Oh, yeah, I also picked some goldenrod and some chrysanthemum and made uh, the teas with those. So we'll have our red tea. We'll save these three mineral waters uh, for the road. Um, I also turned on the... The dynamic music. Thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if you guys can hear it very well, but it's playing right now. So, you know, kind of like Minecraft. It just pops in every now and then. And uh, I actually kind of like it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, all right. So, let's make uh, some more forged iron here. We need a total of 13 um, more 
to make the axe. I haven't had to fire my weapons yet, which is good. Uh, we, we did use the bow a little bit with our iron arrows. Okay, <clears throat> there was one thing I, I completely forgot that I was going to go over with you. I have two skill points uh, to spin. We got that, you know, from all the mining and tree chopping down and all that sort of thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to intellect uh, right here. And we're going to raise that another point. And that now allows us to do uh, Grease Monkey 1. So I think we'll do that. And um, the thing is, though, is we don't, we don't have a, a workbench yet. So we'll have to... Uh, I mean, we, we need actually the next... We needed that point in intellect uh, for the workbench, too, because uh, we need to be level 4 to get Tinkerer, which will then allow us to make the workbench. So the plan's going to be... That I, I don't know if I'll make the bicycle or not. Well, I can't unless I find a working workbench. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll put the next point, uh, next two points into intellect, unless we luck out and find some some um, uh, nerdy glasses. Um, and then we will put a point probably into advanced engineering so that we can make the workbench, and then we'll put a point into Grease Monkey 2 so that we can make the mini bike. Um, and we may make the bicycle in between all that or not. We'll just have to see how things go. Let's grab this. And we now have enough to make our iron fire axe. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so this time we're going south. So we're going actually back down towards... Actually, we're going back down to the exact same building that we did our first... Uh, our first POI. We're kind of getting to the point now where I'm going to start taking the fight to the Zekers. I mean, we still need to use our platform. We're not tough enough yet to start getting hit, but I'm not going to cower so much this time. We're going to start fighting him. It's good XP anyway. Let's check this stump here. We'll just make a bunch of these little stations and use them until we don't need them anymore. Oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Won't be too much longer, guys, and we won't we won't have to do this. We'll either, we'll either have a vehicle or we'll have enough armor and firepower to where we can just take them on on foot. You know, something else I was thinking about doing though one that might be kind of fun. Um, I was thinking about doing a test where we spawn in each one of the the zombies on nightmare speed and just see how fast they are. Because I notice a, a, there's a couple of them. I've actually seem to be able to outrun now. And so I don't know if they changed the speed of all of them or some of them or what. So maybe we'll do like a special episode uh, where we'll we'll just do that, you know. Uh, and we won't do it here on the Let's Play. We'll we'll just you know spawn in a new world and uh, and and just check them out because I'm curious to see if the ones that used to be fast are still fast or if they've changed them or if some of the ones that used to be slower are now fast, you know that sort of thing. Curious to see how that goes down let's take a quick peek inside of here oh shit Let's loot this. Pl oh, oh, I already know that, darn it. You know, at this stage, it's probably worth hanging on to that and selling it. Let 
medical cabinet. Oh, nice. Got another bandage and a splint and some glue. And some lock picks. All good stuff. All good stuff. Um, any gasoline in here? Nope. Okay. So I think the grand prize here is this passing gas crate. Well, there we go. <laughs> we got the bicycle chassis. Uh, we just need to make the handlebars and everything else. Okay. Well, that's a start, though. I mean, the chassis... I think the chassis is the most expensive part to make, so... Okay. So let's get started here. Nothing in that box. Ah, I should have I should have harvested the cement before we started, but I I forgot that it was in here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do too. We're gonna put stuff in here that we don't need to take into the house with us, and let's go take out take ourselves out of buzzard here. Yep, there he is. Come here, you bastard. I got your number this time, pal. Look at him, man. He just wants to eat me. Oh, we got the attention of his eaker. He's not going to come for the door, huh? All right, well, you know what? If that's not... If he's not going to do it, then he's not going to do it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get him from here anyways, because he's under the eaves. Both of the blunders loaded? Okay. We're supposed to jump up on that thing, but I'm not going to chance it, especially with a hostile down below. Okay. So we know we're going to run into a Zeke in the, up in the attic. Not going to take that stuff. What's in here? Definitely taking that, and a suit jacket is... That would replace our um, our duster, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, the duster's way better, so we're just going to scrap this. Maybe we had to hang on to it and sell it. All right, so let's get these ready. The Zombo's going to come from around the corner. I think we just take it head on. Oh, don't be an Edgar. Alright, that wasn't as graceful as it could have been, but we got the job done. You know, I, I was going to make some uh, cloth armor too, and I forgot to do that. Um, let's, let's hold off on taking that. Not quite yet. Okay, I think we can drop down here without attracting a zombo. Can we get that door closed? Here, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, we'll take that. And these are... Looks like they're about the same as the overalls that we're already wearing. So we're going to scrap those. And um, you know what, though? Yeah, we don't need this anymore either. Okay. Need to get see if we can get someone's attention here. All right. Nobody seems to be upstairs. Let's deliberately step on there. We go. There we go. Since we have two of those guys, uh, we will upgrade the block twice. Interesting uh, how how the background music is playing scary music now because we're fighting Zeekers. Ah. 
Okay, so we'll keep that there. Um, Lock that off for a second. Make sure we're still loaded here. Sounds like there is a Zika Ruski in that other room. Is he in here? Ronald McDonald's down there. Okay, let's close that door. We'll double upgrade it too. Um, safe? Nope, no safe this time. But we do have a bookcase. What do we have in here? Oh, nice. Okay. 10% more damage per hit up to 30% with spears. Hits with spears scored in quick succession. All right. I'll take that. Anything else in here? Yeah, we got this. There's our shirt, finally. And get rid of the, the grass shirt. Okay, so we just have gloves now that we have to do, and then we're in good shape. Okay, have those guys broken up here yet? Doesn't look like it. They're working on it. Let's take a quick look um, in the bathroom here. Paper? Jars? Uh, scrap both of those things. Well, not the cloth, because it's already scrapped. Come on, pistol. No pistol. Okay, let's see where these guys are at. Doesn't look like they're up here quite yet. All right, let's um There we go. That gets rid of all of the currently agitated Zika Ruskies. Now, there was a guy right around the corner outside that door the last... Oh, he's still... He is there, too. Okay, so let's block that off. Oh, shit! Oh! This is why we call this the oh, shit gun. You too. <laughs> All right, now I think it's time for a bandage. Hey, he dropped a bag. Here, let's just grab it from here. Oh, nice. Very nice. 300 coin. Beautiful. Okay, uh, yeah, let's leave that there for the moment in case something tries to come through the front door. I don't care about that, really, to be honest with you. Um, anything in here? We might as well harvest that. That just goes to the front entrance. And here is the satchel that we have to retrieve. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's done. Oh, look at that. And here's the good stuff. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, there's enough stuff in there for us to maybe go ahead and just start thinking about doing armor now. I think we're going to do that, you guys. So um, our football helmet is, this is a little bit better than our football helmet. In terms of armor rating and uh, durability, it is going to affect mobility, stamina, and noise, but I think we're going to do it anyway. And then this is not worth much to sell, so we'll scrap it. Uh, this gives us uh, some leg armor so we don't have to make it, and this gives us uh, armor on our feet. We will scrap the cowboy boots. Actually, how much are those worth? Yeah. And we get... Three leather, yeah, let's just take the leather. And then these we can wear on our hands and finally get rid of 
the uh, crappy grass stuff. So we still need um, a chest, an armor chest piece, which we can make out of cloth. And then we are fully armored. Not the best armor, but hey, it's better than none at all. And some more ammunition. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we got in here? All right, we will take that stuff. I'll probably hang on to those. Is this better than the one we're currently using, which is here? Nope, they're both exactly the same. So, yeah, we'll just scrap that. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And in the next episode, what we'll do is see, stay. It's only halfway through day five, so we'll probably do probably another quest uh, in the next episode, which will be the second half of this day. And then starting on day six, we need to start thinking about what we're going to do about the horde. And my general plan for that is that we're going to we're going to try and fix up that area below our base with all the broken stone. And uh, oh man, I'm glad there wasn't a dog back here. And use that as our first uh, horde night. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.